Hello everyone, welcome back. This is the Silver Bandit, doing my second video. Uh, got a lot of great feedback on my first video. Thought I'd show off a little bit more of the stack, some of my recent additions, uh, as well as a couple of my uh, hi-ho silver pieces, really all of my hi-ho hi silver bunker bullion pieces. Absolutely love his work. Uh, first of all though, this is a little, little shout out for Silverino. Just, uh, we're both big Libertad fans. Uh, this is one of the recent pieces that I got. Beautiful, beautiful proof set here. I'm sure Silverino already has one of these. <laughs> but big fan of the Libertad design. Really do a great job of showing off my ceiling fan, uh, as you can see in the reflection there. Oh, good low number two, number 41 out of a thousand, allegedly. Put that aside. Uh, but beyond that, I do also have just a few of these Libertads. I, like I said in my first video, I try and pick up a couple every paycheck. I haven't really been sticking to that. Uh, but these are all 2016. I'm going to try and fill out a roll of them. Um, that will move on to something else. Just really love those designs. Uh, also another recent addition, everyone seems to be getting these. The 2016 Queen's Beast. It's a first in a series of ten. Really excited uh, to see how these come out. A little dog hair there. <laughs> but just amazing, amazing design. Uh, was able to find these capsules on eBay from a seller named On Fire Guy. I'm sure most of you are familiar with them. But they fit perfectly and they look great. Really does a good job of framing the piece, making it look good. Now to what everyone was looking for, the bunker bullion. Let's bring it all out. Start with the heart. This is actually uh, not only special to me, but also the design is special to uh, Silver Saver. Uh, we're both big fans of the heart design, and this is also what I, I'm calling it my centerpiece. Uh, I just really, really love what uh, what Hi Ho was able to do with the pore lines there. It really looks great, and this is also one of the first pieces with his new stamp. So you're still getting the hang of it, just almost a double strike there. I like that neat little, almost an error. Don't know if I really want to call it that, but I think it, it adds more to kind of the artistic nature of it. Real handcrafted, almost dropped it there. <laughs> really love it. Uh, but this was actually my first piece. I. Uh, started getting into just looking up silver videos on YouTube and I coincidentally came across Hi Ho Silver right after he posted a video selling the last of these uh, Phase 3 Wolf and Eagle bars. Really, really intricate, extreme high relief. Really beautiful work. Great stuff. Uh, and uh, also, around the same time I picked up that heart, if I can get this guy out, I believe this is a uh, small hexagon, neat little almost starburst pattern there in the pore lines, it's really beautiful. And another uh, faint double stamp there. Really, really like that. Um, now, I, I love his pieces and at all hand poured silver, really, because they are all one of a kind. But I feel like that adds, you know, just a little bit more to the uniqueness uh, of the piece. Um, and I also enjoy this, that, that he let the, the pore lines really speak for themselves on the top. Um, and the stamp is on the bottom. And also, uh, the stamping's on the side as well. So, big fan of that shiny, shiny piece. So, toss that back there. Um, 
And I couldn't just let it go with the small hexagon. I had to get a large one. Um, and again, this is just, I, I really, really love seeing the progression of his work um, as he's been learning. And he is just, is just getting phenomenal uh, at, at doing this. These pore lines are so dramatic. Um, they're almost raised up. It's, it's almost like a high relief piece. It's just so, so beautiful. And to be able to do that in such a shallow, shallow pour just really, really speaks to the, uh, to the ability of, of him as an artist. Uh, just in the short time I've been watching him, I'd say over the last month and a half, two months. Beautiful piece. And I will turn off my ceiling fan for the next video, I promise you. <laughs> but just, uh, and that's, that's funny, it's actually weighs less than the, uh, the small hexagon. This is a nice little chunky piece. Big fan of that. Moving on. He also started doing cubes. Um, and so I found, uh, found a small cube here. It's uh, 2.8 troy ounces. Not too dramatic on the pore lines, but again, I, I really enjoy that he let them speak for themselves at the, you know, left the top undisturbed there. Uh, dropped the logo on the side, almost running off at the top there. But still, beautiful piece. And, and I like the little, you know, just how rustic it is. There's little corners, just, it's, Neat little stuff like that. I, I'm, I'm a little bit weird. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I love, absolutely love the hand poured silver though. In fact, actually, I wasn't planning on this. So I could dig deep in my pocket. Uh, actually, show off my carry piece. Uh, I know it's strange. Most people have like a silver, silver dollar, Morgan dollars, a carry piece. I have a uh, 4.8 ounce <laughs> uh, brick as my carry piece. Um, and what I actually did, uh, this, I bought this from the Shiny Bars website as a reject. Uh, they tested a, a polishing method on it, and I'd kind of use it as a stress reliever toss between my hands uh, during downtime. And I kept dropping it because I am gangly and uncoordinated. And uh, so I decided to just go to town with a hammer. Let me see if I can get it to focus here. Um, but just really, really got bored one day and just started pounding it with the hammer and I, I really like how it turned out. I probably need to do another pass at it. It was much more dramatic and pronounced. Um, but did the sides a little bit. I, I went a little easy on the back. I didn't want to cover up the stamping at all, the, hall, the hallmarking here. Um, but I'm a big fan of hand poured pieces and uh, so I carry this with me everywhere I go. <laughs> Might have to downsize, I don't know, silver spot price to get a little bit high, but that's my carry piece there. Get the focus back. And uh, this is a little bit for uh, retire before your 50 RB50 Laney. This is some of my gold. I don't have much, uh, but I've started diversifying, trying to work in a little bit of gold. Just uh, this tiny little 10th ounce five nines purity. Uh, I wanted to get the five nines because it's one better uh, than four nines if I can get this to focus. Might be a little bit too close. Uh, but I, I really enjoy the design of it, the high purity, and the little assay card is, is kind of neat. Um, just really, really handy. Keep it together there. So, big fan of that. And finally, uh, I did mention earlier that I picked up a Sunshine Mint bar and a Sunshine Mint decoder. Uh, I, I feel like it would be better if I took the bar out of the plastic, uh, but I'm weird. I like to keep it in there. Um, I don't know how well this will show up on camera. Try and get it to focus up here. Yep, there we go. So that's kind of a neat security feature. Uh, big fan of that. Really, really cool. Let's see if I can get it closer. But it's not as pronounced as I thought it would be, uh, but it, you can definitely see it's as valid. 
somewhere, take it away, work it around a little bit. So I think that's pretty cool. It's a, a neat security feature that they were able to work into a silver bar. Don't know why my camera being a pain, refusing to focus. There we go. And finally, for real, finally, this was one of the first pieces I started stacking. Uh, kind of an interesting story. I, I got into Dogecoin and just mined a whole bunch of it. And there was a website that uh, was minting silver, copper, and uh, gold-plated copper coins. And I converted a bunch of the Doge coins into physical silver. So this really was the start of my stack uh, back in 2014. Capsule scratched up. The coin is very, very, uh, very good quality proof. But I'll take the uh, top part off just so you can see. A really, really nice finish on it. Don't have cotton gloves uh, on, and I also don't own any, so I try and be real careful with these. And just in case you missed it earlier, my expensive Tic Tacs. Feels so nice. Uh, dropped one down there. Ooh. I'm just dropping these all over the place. Uh, so that brings my total up to 29. Um, I bought 30 of them total. Uh, 26 came in the last shipment. Um, I did four as, as kind of a test to see if I would like them. Uh, but they are just neat. I like it. Uh, you know, a lot of work goes into hand pouring silver, and it seems kind of absurd to do all of that work for just five grams. So I feel like I should reward with, uh, with a little bit of my money. Uh, also, in my shipment today, I came in, I got lost in the bubble wrap, so I didn't show you guys. I got a couple of these Sons of Liberty quarter ounce, uh, they call them rounds. But really, it's kind of a square <laughs> with flat corners. Uh, but I looked up the story behind these, and uh, apparently they're they're made by some former members of the military. Um, so always get to support them, uh, and they do some pretty great work. I'll probably pick up a couple of their one ounce, quote unquote, rounds uh, that are the same same shape as this, but bigger, obviously. So that will do it for me today thank you for checking out the channel love the silver love the gold happy to be a member of the community take care everyone